And we're going to get started with a warm up. Um, as usual, warm up, however, you may need to um, to get prepared for our workout today, or you can follow along with me. I'm just going to start by walking around my space, take some steps around my mat to get my body moving. Um, as I'm walking, I like to add in some arm circles. So I'm going to put my arms into a T position outstretched on either side and just do some clockwise circles with my, with my arms to stretch out my shoulders. You can go forwards and backwards, kind of add in any movement to your walk that feels good. We got some more people joining in. Once you are feeling a little bit warmed up with walking, I'm gonna come to the center of my mat and I'm going to do uh, windmill toe touches. So my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, hands are back in that T position outstretched to either side. I'm gonna touch opposite hand to opposite toe or opposite knee as close as you can get, but I'm bending at the waist and getting a little bit of a twist in my core and a stretch in the back of my, my legs and my hamstrings. Do about 10 of these total, go at your own speed, but just getting a good full body stretch in. After you've done about 10, I'm going to stand back up straight and I'm going to do glute kicks. So my feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna kick one heel back, towards my butt, try to kick my glute or my heel to my glute. Um, start off slow, kind of like I'm just walking in place, getting a good stretch in in my quads. And then I'm gonna get a little bit faster. You can add a hop in your step to kind of mimic running in place. Get our heart rate up. Go for about 10 more seconds. Awesome. After glute kicks, I am going to do the same thing, this time with high knees. So bringing one knee up at a time towards my chest, um, starting slow, like I'm marching in place. And then again, getting a little bit faster until I'm more at a jogging speed to get my heart rate up. About five more seconds here. And awesome. Continue to warm up if you need. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. And then I'm going to explain how our workout is going to go today. So our cardio workout, the, the first thing I like to mention is that the goal of our cardio workout is to move as much as possible for as long as possible. So we're really trying to get our um, heart rates up to keep our body moving for as long as we can. That's the goal for the day. It doesn't matter what that feels like for you or what capacity that is for you today, but just to try to keep your body moving for the whole 45 minutes of our workout. So how that is going to go, I have four different circuits of um, four, we'll each have two exercises that we'll go through twice. And then in between each exercise, we'll do active recovery. When we're doing active recovery, all that means it's a 20 second movement that will slow our heart rate down, but it won't stop us from moving. So the goal is to pick an exercise that you can maintain to try to uh, cool down your body, slow down a little bit, but keep your feet or your body moving the whole time. So some examples of that, I have jogging in place, walking in place, calf raises, uh, squats, marching in place, jumping jacks. Um, active recovery is up to you, what you wanna do. You can pick anything. I'm gonna call out one random one that we do. Um, you can follow along with me if you want, but other than that, it is up to you to choose however you wanna keep your body moving. We'll do 30 seconds of exercise, followed by 20 seconds of active recovery. 
we're going to go through the first two circuits tw uh, three times and then the last two circuits twice. So I know that's a lot. I will continue to go through it as we move through. But for our first circuit, we have two different exercises. So the first exercise is a dip and reach. So for this exercise, I'm going to start with my feet shoulder width apart. I'm starting with my legs first. So our dip portion of this movement is just doing a knee bend and then standing back up. So you can go as far as a body weight squat, or you can just bend your knees slightly. Whatever depth feels good for you is uh, the dip portion. And then we'll add in our arms. So the reaching portion, I'm going to dip my knees down. When I stand back up on my way up, I'm gonna reach my right hand up over my head towards the left. So I'm dipping down, bending my knees, standing up, reaching my right hand over my head towards my left, getting a good side body stretch in on my right side. Then I'm gonna bring my arm down, dip again and repeat on my left side. So now my left, my left hand is going to reach up over my head to my right. We're just gonna move through that sequence, dipping our knees down and then reaching overhead in the opposite direction. That is our dip and reach. Any questions with dip and reach? Love it, awesome. Second exercise, this one is going to be a side step with an arm swing. So I'll do our uh, feet first. So I'm gonna start with my feet, just shoulder width apart. The first portion is just a side step. So I'm gonna step one step to my right. So my right foot will step to the right. My left foot will follow. My left foot will step to the left and then my right foot will follow. So just stepping once, in either direction, back and forth. And then we're gonna add in an arm swing. So we're gonna get our arms engaged as we are sidestepping. As I step to the right, my arms are gonna swing backwards. And then when my left foot comes to connect with my right foot, my arms are gonna swing forward. So I'm just adding in an arm swing as I step to my left and to my right. Really try to engage your arms so that you feel like you're moving through water with the tension you're creating in your arms. And this can kind of go however it feels good for your body and your movement. Um, it doesn't have to be an exact science, just moving your arms as you're stepping. Any questions with the side step and arm swing? So when I step to the right, would my arms go to the left and then vice versa? I'm just swinging my arms back and forward. so. Okay, good, um, easier. Okay, thank you. Right. Yeah. Thank you Sorry, so much. I, I don't think I clarified that. Yeah, just back and forth, um, kind of whatever feels good with your side step. You made it easier, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So those are our two movements. We'll do dip and reach and then side step arm swing followed by active recovery in between each. And we're gonna go through that three times with a longer rest at the end. Any questions? All right, I'm starting my timer. We're gonna start with dip and reach in three, two, one. Go ahead, dip and reach. Bending your knee and squatting down as far as comfortable for you. And then reaching up overhead, halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm gonna jog in place. Moving my feet Pretty quickly here. We have another round of dip and reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Dip and reach. With this one, the less you bend your knees down, the faster you can move. You want to follow along with the music. Halfway. And 
And three, two, one. Active recovery, I'm going to do glute kicks. So just kick my heel back towards my glutes. And alternate legs. We are on to exercise number two, which is side step and arm swing. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Side step with arm swings. Feel free to add a little. Tap in your step, pick up your speed, whatever feels good. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to march in place. Just bring my knees up a little bit higher. And if I walk in place. Another round of side step and arm swing. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice work. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to do calf raises. So just raise my heels off the ground, lower them back down. We are back to the beginning. Circuit for round number two. Starting with dip and reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Knee bend. Reach over. Nice job. Ten seconds. Keep moving. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to walk around my space. You can go as slow or as fast as you want. Dip and side reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. I'm going to do a shuffle, so two steps left, two steps right. Again, go as fast or as slow as feels good. And we are on to side step arm swing in three, two, one. Go ahead. Seconds left. And then three, two, one. After the recovery, I am jogging place. Take some deep breaths during active recovery. Take out your arms and legs. Another round of side step arm swing in three, two, one. Go ahead. I'm here to whatever I can be it early morning or late afternoon or at midnight. It's never too soon to want to take nice job halfway. And 
And then three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to walk. We are back to the top. We have one last time through our first circuit. So check in with how you're feeling, how you want this to go. We'll start with dip and reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead, dip and reach. Take a time through. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to march in place. Bring my knees up a little bit higher. Have my hands on my hip. Balance a little. Another round of dip and reach. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30 seconds of dip and reach. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Back to recovery. I'm going to walk. Walk it out. Walk around my face. Two more rounds of exercise. with our side step arm swing. In three, two, one, go ahead. jog in place. So this is our last act of recovery. One more round of exercise. And in three, two, one, side step arm swing. Last 30 seconds. Awesome job. That is circuit number one. And it's done. I'm going to grab some water, catch my breath a little. Awesome. Way to crush circuit number one. We are on to circuit number two. We have two new exercises. Um, the first one is a new exercise that I um, haven't done yet. So we're gonna call this one the four step. So how this is gonna work, I'm gonna start with my feet um, just shoulder width. We're just gonna work our right leg for the first 30 seconds. So only our right leg will be moving. My left leg is gonna stay in place. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna step out to the right with just my right leg four times. So step out with my right foot, bring it back in, that's one. Step out with my right foot, bring it back in, that's two. So just stepping out to the right four times and bringing it back in. After you step out to the right four times, we're gonna step backwards with our right foot four times. So now feet are shoulder width apart, taking one step back with my right, not too far that you throw off your balance, but just um, enough to get a good back step in and then four steps back 
and then we'll repeat from the top. So four steps to the right, four steps backwards. With this one, you can challenge your speed, how fast you can get these steps done, or you can get in, uh, bend your knees a little bit more and go slow and controlled to really work on balance and um, activating your leg muscles. So that is the four step. We'll do the right leg the first 30 seconds and then the left leg the second 30 seconds. Are there any questions with the four step? Where are your arms for this, just down? Yeah, good question. I like to have my hands on my hips because it helps okay. me with balance. Um, you can have them in the T position or just down um, wherever's comfortable. Okay, and when you step in the back, it's okay to like step on your toes or do you put the whole foot down? Yep, I uh, you just step on your toes, like on the uh, balls of your feet. So like my heel is uh, is in the air. That's what my when, the, when I step on the side, the whole foot goes down, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. that's great. Thanks Got for it. clarifying Thank that. Yes. Okay. So, so you just go like back and forth each, like just step to the right and back, step to the right and step back and, and then back to where it was. Is yep. that what you we'll do? Go, yep. We'll go to okay. the right first four times. Four times, and then, right. And okay. then back. Gotcha. Four times. Okay. And Great. then just repeat that sequence, all right leg. And then the second time through will be all left leg. Left side. Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. And then exercise number two will be our two step high knee. So for this one, I'm going to start at the center of my space. I'm going to take two steps to the right. Um, so my right foot is leading for two steps to the right. After I take two steps, I'm going to do a high knee with my left leg and then bring both of my hands to touch the top of my left knee. And then we're gonna to go to the other side. So now two steps to the left, my left foot is leading. Once I take two steps to the left, my right leg is gonna do a high knee. And then I'm gonna to touch both of my hands to the top of my right knee. So we're just moving through two steps right, left side high knee, two steps left, right side high knee. So Any so when you walk, is, is it right, left, right, high knee, or is it right, left, high knee, down? Right, left, right, high knee. Okay, got it. I did it right the first time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. Any other questions with those two exercises? No. Awesome. I'm going to reset my timer. Again, the goal is to just keep moving in whatever capacity feels good, starting with our four step on our right leg in three, two, one. Four steps to the right, and then four steps back. Halfway. And in three, two, one, active recovery. I am going to jog in place, shake my legs out. After that movement. Next up is our four step with our left leg. In three, two, one, go ahead. Four steps to the left this time with our left leg. And then four steps back. Halfway. If you're really fast, you can go with the beat. <laughs> Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to jog again. We are on to our second set of exercises with the two-step high knee. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead, two steps, high knee. Try to get your knee up as high as you can. Halfway.
Last ten. And in three, two, one, active recovery. I'm going to walk. Another round of two step high knee. In three, two, one, go ahead. And five seconds. Three, two, one. After recovery, I'm going to calf raise. You can do one leg at a time. We're back to the beginning. Starting with our four step on our right leg. In three, two, one. Go ahead, second time through. Four steps to the right and four steps back. 10 seconds. And in three, two, one, active recovery. I'm gonna do blue kick. It's a celebration. Next up is our four step with our left leg. In three, two, one, go ahead. Four to the left. And four back. Halfway. Nice work. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Back to recovery. I'm going to side step. One step to the left. One step to the right. Next up, two-step high knee. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Two-step high knee. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. Back to recovery. I'm gonna jump rope. So you can jump on your feet, you can jog in place. And for 10 years, swinging a jump rope. Another round of two steps. And three, two, one. Go ahead. To keep moving. We're doing a great job. Almost Let's done with circuit number two. Halfway. Let's all celebrate and have a good time. It's time. And five seconds. It's Three, to you. two, Watch your pleasure. After recovery, I'm gonna walk it out. Catch my breath a little. We're back to the beginning. Let's celebrate. Last time through. Right. We're gonna have a good time today. Let's celebrate. It's Starting right. with four steps on our right leg. In three, one, go ahead. Last round. It's a celebration. Yeah. Let's celebrate. Halfway. It's a celebration. 
And in five, three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm gonna jog in place, just a slow jog. Take some deep breaths. And four steps in the left leg. And three, two, one. Last 30 seconds of this movement. Halfway. And in three, two, one. After recovery, I am going to like marching in place. Last two exercises are two-step high knee. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last few minutes of exercise for circuit number two. Halfway. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm gonna jog in place. Last active recovery before our rest. Two-step high knee. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30. Halfway. Cover. Woo. Woo. Nice job, everyone. Circuit number two is done. I'm going to grab some water. Now, these last two, Ashley, we do twice, right? Yes. In hopes yeah. to get through two more circuits, we're going to do these last through. Um, we're gonna do these last two, two times through. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for circuit number three, our first exercise will be a dip and alternating leg lift. So I believe last week we did this, but we just did one leg at a time. So this week we're gonna alternate. So we're gonna start, our dip, kind of like we did in the first uh, circuit, which can just be a slight knee bend and then a stand. Or if you are feeling like it, you can do a full body weight squat. You can choose your knee um, bend. After we dip and stand up, I'm going to lift. I'm going to start with my right leg. I'm going to lift my right leg up off the ground and to the right. So I'm trying to keep my leg straight and then lifting to the right, kind of as high as I can, which is not very high. So just a few inches off the ground is great, but as high as you can go, keeping that leg engaged. So most of my weight will be on my, well, all of my weight will be on my left leg. Then I'll bring my right foot down, dip my knees down again, and then left leg lift. So we'll just alternate between our right leg lift and our left leg lift. It's kind of like you're rocking back and forth. Um, with a leg lift. Any questions with that one? The leg goes out to the side, right? Yep, leg goes out to the side. So right leg to the right, and then um, yep. left leg to the left. Got it. Yes. And then second exercise will be a standing alternating crunch. 
So for this one, I'm going to just have my feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to bring my right knee up to try to touch it with my right elbow. So I'm crunching the right side of my body. You can start with your um, arm in the air, or you can just raise them up simultaneously, kind of whatever um, feels good for you there. But elbow to knee on the same side, and then we'll switch and do it on the left side, elbow to knee on the left side. So we'll alternate through standing side crunch. Any questions with any of those? It's a high knee core twist, right? Um, I'm my elbow and knee on the same side. Are oh, gonna sorry, I missed that. Okay. No, you're good. Yeah, so not crossing same side, but oh, same that's side. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Starting with dip and alternating leg lift in three, two, one. I like to have my hands on my hips to help with balance. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to jog in place. Slow jog. Another round of dip and leg left. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Try to keep your chest up, facing forward, leg lift, halfway, and three, two, one, after recovery, I'm going to walk it out, shake my legs out. Job. We are on to standing side crunch in three, two, one. Go ahead. You can alternate sides. Same side knee, same side elbow. Take this at your own speed. Doesn't have to be very quick. Five seconds. Ooh, three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to walk it out. Be sure to do any active recovery that you need. And make sure we're taking deep breaths. Another round of standing side crunch in three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice job. Five seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to calf raise. Nice work. We're back to the top for the second time through. And this is our last time through, starting with dip and leg lift. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Alternating dip and leg lift. Halfway. And in three, two, 
fun, active recovery. I'm going to sidestep. One last round of dip and leg lift. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30 seconds of this exercise. We're doing great halfway. In three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to walk it out. Last two exercises in standing. Side crunch. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last two rounds of circuit number three. Halfway. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to jog in place. Last active recovery of the circuit. In three, two, one. Last round, standing side crunch. Nice job, everyone. Finish strong here, last 15. Less than 10. And in three. One and recover. Nice job. Workout Gonna grab a little water. And we're gonna get right into the last circuit. We'll be cutting it close, but we got enough time, so let's get it done. Take any break you need. If you need a longer break, please take it. The first exercise we have is a wide glute kick and a clap across our chest. So what that is gonna look like, um, our feet are wider than shoulder width. So we'll do a wide glute kick, bringing um, one heel at a time back to, to our glutes. And then with our hands, as you glute kick back, I'm gonna clap my hands in front of my chest. Um, you can make your arms as wide, as big as you want in your clap or you can keep them tight, elbows closer to your body. But just a wide glute kick and a clap across your chest. Any questions with that one? All right, and our last exercise is going to be a little bit of a finish, finisher movement. So we're gonna get into a dip or a body weight squat, and we're gonna hold that position and do some small pulses. So you're just going to get deeper up and down into your dip at whatever level you can hold it at. If that's just a slight knee bend, you're just gonna bounce a little bit further into it. Or if it's a full body weight squat, you can also do the same there, but just a pulsing dip or a pulsing body weight squat. Any questions with that one? So when I'm kicking, I was just trying this. When I'm kicking my foot back for the, um, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's glue kick, white glue kick. Yep. What am I, am I bringing my hands down to clap or just clapping right in front of me? So um, I separate my hands when my foot is up in the glute kick and then clap when my both feet are on the ground. Okay, right in front of my, okay. Just right in front of my chest, yeah. Got it, thank you. Yep. Any question? Last time through. I think we can get two times in, starting with wide glute kick and clap in three, 
two, one. Go ahead. Take some step, whatever. Come on. Go a little slower. Work to be your finisher. And you go a little faster. Totally up to you. You've got 10 seconds. And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to sidestep. Nice job. Another round of wide glute kick. Clip. Whoa. Wide glute kick and clap. In three, two, one. Go ahead. Nice job, everyone. Halfway. Ten seconds. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm gonna walk it out. Our next movement is our dip pulses or our squat pulses. Again, any capacity that is good for you. Starting in three, two, one. Go ahead. Roll up to just keep moving. If you need to take a rest, please do so. Halfway. Less than 10. And three, two, one. Active recovery. Take out your legs. Walk in place. Take your legs out in front of you. Whatever feels good. We're going to do that one more time through for the first round. Start again. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Get pulse. Small movement here. Nice work. Already halfway. Only 15 seconds left. And in three, two, one. After recovery, shake your legs out. I'm gonna do a march in place. Just a light movement on my legs. We are back to the top. Last time through. Circuit number four our wide glute, glute kick starting in three two one go ahead nice job everyone halfway less than ten And in three, two, one. Active recovery. I am going to walk it out. Prep for the last round. And wide glute kick one last time. Three, two, one. Go ahead. Halfway. Less than 10. And three, two, one. Active recovery. I'm going to side step. Two more exercises. Last finisher in our dip. Starting in three, two, one. 
Go ahead. Almost done. Four circuits of exercise. Less than two minutes here. You got it. And in five, three, two, one. Active recovery. Take your legs out. Jog it out. of the day. And we will finish with 30 seconds of dip pulses in three, two, one. Go ahead. Last 30. Nice work halfway. Finish out strong. 10 seconds. And in five, four, three, two, one. And recover. Whew. Great work, everyone. Four circuits done today. We sped through the last one, so thanks for bearing with me. Grab a little bit of water. And we'll get into a cool down. We got about four minutes. So sorry about that. Cool down as much as you need afterwards. But I'm just going to start with a breathing exercise. So my feet are wider than shoulder width. I'm going to inhale, reach my hands up towards the ceiling, making my body as tall as I possibly can be. And then on the exhale, I'm gonna hinge at my waist, forward fold, try to touch my hands to the ground or your knees. And then just repeat that movement. Inhale, reach up, filling your body with oxygen. And then exhale, forward fold, get a good stretch. Move through this just a few times. helps regulate your breathing, oxygenate your muscles. On the last time you exhale, you can let your head hang. You can release your arms, let your arms hang. Really just let your body fall. You can shake out your head, shake out your shoulders. And then slowly when you're ready, Stand back up one vertebrae at a time, making yourself tall and standing straight up. I'm going to take my hands and bring them up over my head. I'm going to grab onto my left wrist with my right hand and gently pull and lean my body towards the right to get a good side body stretch along my left side. Hold that for a few seconds and then let my arms fall. Repeat on the other side. My left hand grabs my right wrist and I lean towards the left. And then I'll bring my hands back down to either side of my body, stretch out my neck. I'm gonna bring my right ear towards my right shoulder, hold that position, stretch out the left side of my neck. And then same thing on the other side, left ear towards left shoulder, keeping my shoulders neutral, getting that nice stretch along the right side of my body. It is one o'clock. Sorry to rush our cool down, but I'm glad we got through four rounds of exercise. Please drink some water and stretch more <clears throat> if you need. We did a lot of moving and grooving today. And I thank you all for joining me.
Thank you, Ashley. You always, have a, awesome. you, have, you always have a good choice of songs. Thanks. Good Thanks, one. Everyone. Thank you. Everybody have a good week. Yeah, have a good weekend. Bye, everybody.